On my main website, I have discussed in many newsletters, blog entries, videos, sermons, and radio broadcasts that Sunday laws are in fact being discussed and promoted all over the world. In fact, back in 2009, when I noticed an uptick in these articles, I decided to create a page on my website just for these articles. You can get to that by going to the warning section and go down to Sunday laws. Now, Keep in mind, I don't go looking for these articles. I scan the news sites globally six days a week to find prophetic events happening in the news on many different topics, and quite often I do come across articles about Sunday laws, and so I share them when they come up, if in fact they're not a repeat of a previous article, you know, because redundancy makes for a boring compilation. Now, I'm not going to post all the articles that I have on my site because it would literally take hours to do so, but what you see scrolling on the screen right now is a small fraction of what I have on that page, not to mention the thousands of other articles all over my website before I created this growing compilation. Uh, the reason I'm making this video now is to point out how blind the Seventh-day Adventist people have grown to become when it comes to prophesied events, because if you don't leave an apostate church and obey the Lord Jesus, you're not going to see these things, especially if you're under leadership that refuses to tell you about them. In fact, check this out. Yes, national Sunday laws will come, persecution will come, but nothing of that sort is in the pipeline at the present time, nothing that we have understood. Okay, now, there are actually tens of thousands of these articles all over the internet, and I have many of them linked out on my Sabbath attack page, and even more linked out within all those articles because there's really that much information out there regarding Sunday laws and their soon arrival. As I intimated earlier, I also have some old and current blog entries as well as some old newsletters that I've posted over the years, both on and offline, regarding the global plans of the popes of Rome and their political cohorts in every nation regarding how they're going to get this mark enforced and how people all over the planet are talking about his desire for Sunday laws in just the last nine years alone. Oh, it's creeping up on 10 years now that I think about it. But, And who could forget what John Paul II stated in his globally published Dios Domini? This is, and by the way, the reason he said these things is because he knew they were going to fake making him a saint and all this other stuff so that he can speak from heaven after he dies. Check this out. If you go to the warning section, and oh wait, no, go to the RCC exposed section, go down to the Popes of Rome, go down to Pope John Paul II, and I think it's the first link on the right. Yeah, here it is. You go here, and then just click. This is the whole Dies Domini right here that he posted uh, globally. Then you just click here, and notice what he said there. He goes, Christians will naturally strive to ensure that civil legislation respects their duty to keep Sunday holy. In other words, Sunday laws. That all being said, the list of articles that are scrolling on your screen still at this point are only a fraction of the headlines I've touched on over the last few years and a much smaller fraction of what's actually on the internet out there as we speak. And again, there are just too many of these articles to post in a video because even with a high-end computer system like I have, the software I use to make these videos can't handle this kind of a load. It'll just slow it down so much it'll come to a crawl and I won't be able to make the video. And so for those of you that are still in the Seventh-day Adventist church, I reach out to you in as much love as I can muster from deep within. As you see these articles scroll by, think about what's actually happening out there. And then as you contemplate all this, remember what your church president, Ted Wilson, said just last November. Yes, national Sunday laws will come, persecution will come, but nothing of that sort is in the pipeline at the present time, nothing that we have understood. Thank you for watching. God bless.